it's um it's challenging sometimes. You know, being a parent of a special needs child, uh, let alone three of them, is very challenging, both emotionally, physically, and and financially. Um, it, it becomes a much after a while, you know. And as you get older, it gets harder. It's harder to do as you get older, and you realize that. Exhausting is the best word for it. Yeah, it's, I get up at five and crash about eight, nine o'clock when they're in bed, and it's just, it's constant. You know, as you get older, you just, you just can't, you know, you can't physically handle, handle them like you used to, you know, and that becomes very um, burdening. It's, it's just, a, it's a tough thing to come to grips with. Ready, Bubba? Are you waking up? Come on in. Usually I kind of go back and forth between the two of them, getting them ready. I usually get bed, whatever wet beds are needing to get going in the wash and just, yeah, kind of cram as much as you can in the morning. Try and get out on time. Mm -hmm. My girls, I really love my girls that help me because you just, I mean, you hit the wall and you're just exhausted. You just want to be done and you're not yet. So you usually start this process early enough to where we don't get to this point because you just get so tired and mm -hmm. you want to be done, but you just keep going until it's done. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the older we get, the sooner we hit the wall. <laughs> We're all the same way. We're all going to get older, and we're all going to get to the point where as much as we want to take care of our kids, we're not going to be able to do it. We're not going to physically be able to do it. Um, so the thought was to you know, build TLC to where it was a loving environment to where they would have the family life at TLC. You know, but that just takes so much money. That takes a community behind it and, and a lot of resources and a lot of commitment. A lot of people all banded together to keep this and, and build it and keep it the way it needs to be to support these lives for these young adults. Hey. Well, how'd you do today? Time. Nine seven. Not bad. I know they love me. I know they love Mike and I. There's no question they love the girls that help us every day. Do I wish they could tell me? Oh yeah, I miss hearing that, but um, One more. Yep, one more to go. I, I can't get enough of it. I drop Matthew off in the morning, pick him up in the afternoon, and it's the highlight of my day. When you're the parent of a special needs adult person, you need to get a break, and you need to have a place that you can take your family member and feel like they're secure, and whether it's just a, a vacation, a weekend, one night, date night, whatever you want to call it, a, a place where you can take them and know they're being taken care of. It just makes your drive that much more to get this to the finish line because we have just started. I mean, this is the community center is exciting, but we have just started. Um, so many of the parents of these of our members are older than I am. And I know how tired I am, so I can only imagine what they go through every day with their struggles. So it's it's motivation to, to get us to the finish line. He's the a caregiver that canceled on me for tonight. So So what's that mean? That means that, that means to me in London. Yeah. Sarah and I will be doing showers and Sarah takes off and I'll be doing dinner and everything else until Mike gets home. So it just makes my day a little bit harder.
were successful. Everybody's sleeping, so this should be a lot of fun. Now are the boys. Probably start with Matthew. Let Anthony finish his feed. Let Nick finish his nap. Matthew shower, Anthony shower, Nick shower, dinner, meds, bathroom, bed. How long should that take? Depends on what time Sarah leaves. If she leaves between 6 and 6.30, Mike should be home 7-ish. Hopefully bed by 8, 8.30. So no time to chit chat. <laughs> Sounds like Anthony had a 50-50 day. Better than yesterday. Yesterday I was concerned because he was so tired. But I think he was just having a rest day. So I'm glad he had a halfway decent day. Nick. Sounds like he ate better today, so I was happy about that. Drank and ensure, I'm happy about that. Um, and Matthew had no seizures today. So I think overall, it's a good Monday. I'll take it. Nonverbal is um, one of the biggest challenges, absolutely. It's always a guessing game, always hoping that they're okay, but never 100% sure. You know, they get home from school and then they kind of chill for a little bit and then about 4.35 they usually have dinner and then showers after that. And when, it's, when dinner gets there at 4, 4, 4, 35 o'clock, it, uh, it's busy time all the way up to 8 o'clock to bedtime. You know, it's, it's beds and potty time and, you know, capping and feeds and, and the whole nine yards. So we're giving him the Epidiolex, hoping to be able to reduce some of his other seizure meds that make him so sleepy. That's what we're hoping for. And that's it. Hey, right, Mary Poppins. Every night. Yep. In the morning. You got drive in the morning. You got drive in the morning. <laughs> Well, um, you know, Matthew's going to TLC now, um, and then behind him will be Nicholas in a couple of years, and then behind Nicholas will be Anthony. And we hope by the time Anthony gets going to TLC that we have our, 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 our complete dream, you know, on site there. Um, you know, Matthew loves TLC, he loves being his friends, and I have no reason to think that Nicholas wouldn't love it and Anthony's going to love it. Three for three. I did it. <laughs> to know that their family member is taken care of, it's it's a huge emotional roller coaster that you go on as a parent getting older and knowing that your your child's probably gonna outlive you and you have to know that they're taken care of. Hey, tell me what you think about the new place. Love it. Yeah, we started in 2012 with a dream that we were going to have this campus, and we spoke those words. Our co-founder said, we're going to get 20 acres. We acquired 22 acres. We acquired a grant. We raised $1.3 million through generous donations and an actual block grant as well. City of Ocala donated the property. And our dream was to have our own campus, Transitions Life Center, and community. And this is our community. big time today that we are finally here in this new building that has been our dream for the last three or four years and it's here it's real it's awesome it's full of energy it's full of life it's full of laughter it's what we had hoped for
everybody has been anticipating the start and the, the actual vision of this dream to come true and to be here tangibly and walk in the doors, touch it, feel it, and see it. We knew we wanted to make it a celebration, and what better way to celebrate than pancakes? You have a great community within the community here. Um, one of the best I've ever seen. You know, and I've been doing this a long time. <laughs> you excited? What are you excited about the most? I'm starting a new building TOC. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? You get to be here all the time now in your own place. Yeah. How are the pancakes this morning? I'm stuffed right now, so I'm good. <laughs> facility to organize our program, to have everything set up the night before so it's ready to roll in the morning, to be able to have enterprises that are in the works. So sometimes our projects will take two or three days. They'll be able to leave the project and just come back to it the next day. Life skills. We have a life skills room that has washer and dryer, sewing machines, um, a lot of life skills, ironing, just things, making beds, just things to help everybody in everyday life. A little bit more spread out than we were before. Um, we have a kitchen that they can cook in. We have administrative offices that our um, executive director and our program administrator, they have space. We just have space. So I'm so excited. Yes, we do have a website. It's uh, tlcocala.org. So if you go to that website, you can find more information about who we are. If you're interested in learning more about us, there's pictures out there. talks about the things that we do uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. It's got our phone number. If you'd like to come in and do a tour, we do tours of the facility. Uh, but there's a, a donate button, and we encourage you to help us. We're a privately funded organization. We have very generous do uh, donors that have helped us. But we have to now we have to fund this building and the operations that go with it. Uh, and so we, we need help. We need help from the community to continue to serve the community and to grow this organization so we can serve more in, in our surrounding community.